You know, if there was one bike I can have for, let's say, an all-around ride, I think the KTM 500 EXEF would be it. You guys have to understand though, I am a Colorado rider, so my reviews would be based off this state, which yes, it does have many things to offer and all kinds of trails. But more than anything, we have tons, and I'm talking about tons of logging roads, forest roads, and ah, yes, one of my favorites, passes, at least that's what we call them. See, there are tons of old mining roads that has amazing scenery in Colorado. Some are technical and, well, some are not. Some are up in 14,000 feet elevation where the power of the 500 would definitely shine. While many of our mining roads also shoot, you know, freaking steep, steep climb, you know, where it would really be tough for a 250. You see, most 250s and 350s at, let's say, 14,000 feet need to be left on first or second gear while this 500 will chug up any gear well not really you know six gear but you get what i'm saying a lazy man's bike <laughs> yes no shifting right sounds great well that's because it is this thing has so much power to offer and gears are just so perfect internal that this thing barely even wants to flame out while going really slow on third and fourth gear with some, you know, a little bit of clutching. That is definitely a tall seat. <laughs> that is a tall bike. What is up everybody? Ride with Will here. I'm in Cascade Creek. Just test riding the uh, 500 e EXEF. I'm just gonna go really slow. Not my bike, so I don't wanna drop it. Everything is stock on this bike except uh, the sag. So stock fork, stock everything. It's a, I would say it's a mixture snappy throttle and linear so the power just comes on strong but it comes really fast like this thing really just wants to go but i'm not gonna lie i have a 250 exe uh te 250i and i think the suspensions on this ktm is a little better oh yeah it has power the, a lot of engine braking too a lot of engine braking Oh yeah, I'm barely giving that much gas, it just wants to go. So here's the thing with the 500 EXEF. The power delivery is linear, but give it just enough gas and it becomes incredibly snappy. And it becomes snappy if you've ever ridden a KTM 690 or 701. You know how you just twist that throttle and it, well, it wants to go once you have it in the rev. Well, just think of the 500 EXEF coming on a lot sooner and a lot quicker and you don't have to spin that throttle all the way like the 701 or the 690. That is pretty much the best way I can describe it. But I would definitely say it is not a beginner friendly bike. <laughs> this thing's a monster. I'm going to leave it on third gear right here. Is that basil? Kind of look like basil. So obviously downhill is going to be different. But I kind of want to see the flame out. Third gear. Yeah. Still wants to go. I'm going really slow. Five miles an hour. And this thing first gear. Barely any flame out. Much, much less than my Beta 350 Double R. It does have strong engine braking. That's for sure. So the thing about this four stroke, I'm not gonna lie, it's, dude, it has a lot of power, man, with just a, a little bit of the of the wrist. There's only one bad part is, it has a, lot, a little bit of uh, engine vibration. It's a little buzzy. My KLX is smoother. My DRZ is a little less buzzy. And my two stroke, with the uh, counter balance, I guess is what they call it. 
is definitely a lot less buzzy. So it does engage, so when you go, when you hit the throttle, it engages really quick, like it wants to like go. So definitely I would not recommend this to a new rider. That's for sure. <laughs> not a new new rider friendly bike. It's just, this will definitely throw you off fast. So the best way I can describe the 500 EXCF, well, if I can only have one bike as a do-it-all in the state of Colorado, the 500 EXCF would definitely be it. Just because the fact we have many connecting trails and tons of passes and of course single track along these logging and mining roads. See, now if my state had nothing but single track, where, you know, I don't really need to drive along jeep roads to get in, of course I would reconsider to a two-stroke or maybe the FE350 or the EXEF350. From researching, this 500 can go up to 10,000 to even 20,000 miles on a single top end based on the forums I've read. So this definitely leaves room for exploring for people, let's say, who have light adventure riding in mind. But, you know, are a little bit aggressive on the trails who aren't scared to get their wheels dirty on single track. Anyhow guys, hopefully you guys like this video and if you do, hit that bell button after you subscribe. It will definitely help me a ton. And I'll catch you guys on my next video.